Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Why, yes, I- Good heavens! My wallet's been stolen! Of course it has, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. What, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. It's coming. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss. Such as why there's a wanted poster on the wharf with my picture on it? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood. And that of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? Could I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until the Chuck comes to pick you up. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty the Chuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. You 
Here, doggy, doggy. Here, boy. Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here and an organ. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that <laughs> tickles. More bets? Okay, here we go. Eleven black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Care to make a bet? Hello. How you doing? Could you explain how this game works? Sure, it's easy. Just tell me what number you want, and I'll spin the wheel. If your number comes up, you win. Sounds simple. What numbers can I bet on? One to thirty-two, red or black. Do many other people come to play here? Well, lots of people come to play when we've got a bunch of prizes. But we're almost out today. We only have three left. What prizes do you have left? We have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus, and an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. And, of course, we have money! Sixty pieces of eight for every bet. Wow! I just remembered. I don't gamble. Why not? You could win big. Come back if you change your mind. Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. Ten red. Ten red it is. Ten red. All right! You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is five, what's this? Two. Right. The winning number will be 16 red. Thanks. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number going to be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is two, what's this? Three. Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is three, what's this? Four? That's two. One more. If this is four, what's this? Two? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? No, but that's okay. 
You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. The winning number will be 31 red. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Sixteen red. All right! You win again! Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. You can't win if you don't play. Why does that other guy keep winning so much? Oh, maybe he's got some inside help. Know what I mean? Well, how can you make any profit if that guy keeps winning? Hey, I only work here. It's the owners who are losing money. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 31 red. Okay. Here we go. One red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation! Congratulations! Thanks! Big prizes for just one piece of eight! Where do you want to go? Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? Hey, old man. How about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing off? My name is Augustus DeWatt, not old man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. Hello again. Eh? What was that? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island, but I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party. 
So I quit. And now I watch out for the mail boat, which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Hello again. You talking to me, boy? And what are the official purposes of this cannon? I watch the sea. When the mail boat arrives, I blow this cannon. Dang ships three days late. You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Mardi Gras. Who? Mardi Gras. It's a joke, boy, a joke. You are here for Mardi Gras, aren't you? No, I'm on a treasure hunt. What? They're doing a treasure hunt again this year? I can't believe they'd try that again after all the mishaps last time. What kind of mishaps? Well... Some people got carried away, some graves got dug up. Horrible business. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Excellent choice! That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Excellent choice. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh... Yes, I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. He looks like he's really into this stuff. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. Nice shop you got here. Thanks. I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone. Or on reserve. Sorry. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. 
You look busy. I'll come back later. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. Glass bottom boat. Three hour tours. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Do you give credit? <laughs> don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? See the world. Glass-bottom boat. 